professionals this time, Zaransky? <laughs> Actually have a professional is a, a strong word. You can actually try and vacuum this bad boy instead of just throwing it in an oven and hoping for the best. How many coats of wax do we need? Kevin said like five. Enough. So yeah, you do that. So if this really not sticking to our manual this time, we just have to poison with aluminum foil because even if it gets stuck to the carbon fiber. Because this is kind of an eighth of a gram, and I, I already screwed it up, so it's fun. Alcohol and stuff. This stuff's from like '95, or no, date prepared '92, so it's probably not good, but we're still using it. Professionals pulled our carbon fiber out of the freezer like normal human being. There's actually carbon nanotube reinforced carbon fiber that's pre preg so keep it frozen so the resin doesn't set. Which piece does Zerensky want? <laughs> this is the best train wreck I've ever watched. Perfect. I'm gonna wait for this to heat up and get tacky so I can put them on. I'm just laying, laying them out so they don't stick to each other. Oh, you done goof, bro. Um, you were the one who done goof. I, I don't know what you're When you cut it. That's preposterous. I would never. So, yeah, we'll be back with that. It's working too well. I think that's good. This is gonna be some skookum carbon fiber. That is a really thick ply. Last week, that's not today. <laughs> the question is, do we really need two flies? <laughs> that's pretty thick, dude. That is way thicker than the single. Because this is two by two twill, right? Yeah. It's way thicker <laughs> than our plain weave. Uh, you're gonna get stuck. Yeah, you're gonna get All stuck. Right. <clears throat> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> we have a hole. We have a breach. Two millimeters of overlap there, Zaransky. Sure. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, that's just fantastic. So basically, what you're saying is we should probably get that other stuff in the freezer. No, because we're going to need it to continue wrapping this. Okay. Right. Perfect. You get that other one. I'm gonna show everyone my lovely redneck rig over here. Well, brought all the hose clamps that I could. Tore through our high pressure, high pressure hose, cobalt Chinese special, and uh, a little Venturi vacuum action. We can get it up to like 25 inches of mercury, which is well enough. And uh, hopefully this works. Back to more shenanigans. Perforated layer. All I got is dikes. Go find them some scissors. This allows the resin to get sucked out of the Cut. carbon fiber. Right in the middle of where the local foil is. Uh -huh. Yep. <coughs> Big thank you to Kevin Mitchell from the aviation department. Stuck on there. One ply of that, and then two to three plies of this stuff to soak up the excess resin. And I'm prepping the vacuum bag over here. You having fun there, Zaransky? Yes.
coated him, his hands in wax so he didn't get stuck anymore. Being an engineer, just making your steak. Let's get some scotch tape. Uh, is that over in this toolbox area? Or? It should be in the office space. I don't think we need scotch tape. Just to give it one. Because it's sticking to the resin pretty well. I think that's all we need. We need contingency. we got to do everything to make this work. <laughs> Littering. A clean shop. Let me just, you know, take off this extra aluminum foil from where you messed up. You got the most expensive part of this build. Disgusting. Disgusting. Go look at them like safety glasses. I'm wearing safety glasses. Like a nerd. Here, you have not I have waxed a... fingers. Oh, uh, you have not waxed fingers. Okay, let me put this on. Put this stuff on there. Stop cursing. This is a, We're out of mountain dew. This is a, I know. I slept for three hours last night. Don't even talk to me. And it's pretty good for, for one night. It's about four to five layers. We only needed three. Well, three to five. Oh, you need to get that tighter. Start over. Let me get this. Find this strategically because this vacuum bag is expensive. From the autonomous bureaucracy of fiberglass. So essentially what we have to do is we have to cut out a bottom layer, cut out a top layer, and then we tape the two together with that big roll of tape over yonder. So we gotta cut out a square that I can fit in with a little a little room on every side to put it like right here. I go in a little bit. Okay. Go to your left. There you go. Right about there should be good. Okay. Need a box cutter to cut this out. It's perfect. All we need is a check valve so we can stop listening to this hiss. There's like there's like 15 students and like 45 people total. Here. Perfect. Yeah, that was my redneck engineering for the. Uh, Drive shaft? Oh, the system. Mm -hmm. Look at all those plans. Nice. <laughs> Professional. That's going to be fun to take off. I had to put my big boy panties on to get that apart. I have a better idea. You're going to ruin some gloves instead. <laughs> the mandatory snap. <laughs> Where did we get this? Oh, I don't know. Jordan found that. We have to return that. Yeah, what, what went on in here? There's a hot mess over there. We repaired Jordan's. Don't do that. We can reuse the vacuum bag. Do not do that. How are we going to get this? Okay, maybe we can't reuse the vacuum bag. Maybe yeah, I was going to say. Don't do that. Don't, yeah. Please don't. Just. Okay, just cut it up. It's really expensive, and I paid for this with my own money. Well, now that we're not heating it, we don't need a specific vacuum bag. Yeah, but that vacuum bag isn't much more expensive than regular stuff. Just anything that's airtight. I think I'm going to buy, like, those food processor vacuum bags, because they're probably just good enough. Yeah. Get to get one of those, uh, where you put clothes in, some of those as well. The space bags. Yeah. I really hope this doesn't suck. I realized something uh, about what we should do next time. Hmm. 
instead of doing the wrap with the thin strips going this way and that, we should just get one strip. And just roll the whole thing. And wrap it like that. Because yeah. the only reason that Gil does this. For bending. It's for bending. Yeah. And they use a unidirectional weave. Not a whole lot of resin came out. Oh, this is going to be fun. Are you worried? Yeah. It really doesn't look like it did much. Oh, your stupid scotch tape. It's totally not my idea. Thank you. Post cure. Mm -hmm. Fire up the oven. Okay. 120C for one hour because this is still pliable. So we're finally pulling a vacuum because we have this valve open. Good job, Grand Chief. Kind of. Well, it's, it's slowly pulling it. Our air compression is really not going to like us. But our carbon fiber started on the evening, so I wasn't very happy about that. <laughs>